basic mapping skills. Arguably, one of the most important skills you want and need to have when starting to learn about the geography of Canada. So let's get started. For the mapping skills, there are a total of eight main skills you want to have. First is the title, so the name of the map. Second, a border around the map, like a picture frame. Third is the legend, which outlines what each object, color, symbol is on the map. The key, which explains it. Scale, a compass, water to indicate the shorelines, neatness, and then accuracy. These are the eight main mapping scales when it comes to mapping. Now for symbols. Symbols are essentially pictures or objects that represent something. Like in the top right corner, that symbol indicates the Trans-Canada Highway, which is the national highway across the entire country from one province to the other. You know that this is the main highway because it has the number one in it. Additionally, it says the name. But from depending on which province you are looking at, it will say either British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and so on. Or in the bottom left corner with the Yellowhead Highway, a main highway that essentially links the southwestern BC, so Metro Vancouver, Fraser Valley, to the interior of the province all the way up to Mount Robson or Vanderhoof. A legend or a key explains and labels what you find on the map. The legend is found on the front of the map, whereas the key is in the back. Additionally, the legend just indicates what things are, but the key explains it as a short sentence on the back of the map. The legend will also will have the compass and the scale. The legend will also just give the names, whereas the key as a short sentence will explain it. Here are some examples of what a legend will have from man-made objects, water bodies, vegetation, landforms, or rocks or boulders. There will be various variations to each one, but this will give you the general idea of the most universal types that are generally found. Now, scale will give you an indication of the size of the map that it represents. The scale is a section of the map that shows how much smaller the map is compared to the actual geographical area. If maps are made for Canada, they will be in kilometers. If it's for the United States of America, it will be in miles. This gives a general idea for directions. With maps, directions will tell you exactly where to go. This is some of the most basic fundamental orientation each person needs to have. With the directions, you have a compass. In the beginning, a compass rose is indicated in red in color, depending on which hemisphere you're located in. Since we are in Canada, the compass rose will be red on the northern arm, which will indicate which direction north is on the map. The cardinal points of the compass is north, south, east, and west. That is the basic requirement. To take it further, there are the intermediate directions, which is northeast, southeast, 
northwest, southwest, to create that eight-point compass, which has the compass rows. To summarize, then, the mapping skills are title, scale, legend, key, compass rows, border, water, neatness, and accuracy. And the map represents the physical area.